So first of all, uh, thanks very much to the invitation of uh, KAIST uh, CMC and uh, thanks very much to the hospitality of uh, Yuna Li. So, uh, so in this uh, lecture series, I, so my, my topic is uh, slightly different. It's uh, ex explicit uh, by Russian geometry. of three forms uh, after uh, MMP. So uh, it's uh, well known nowadays that uh, MMP is a, a minimal model program for uh, varieties. So in dimension three it's a, a, a very mature theory uh, initiated uh, with read and then uh, with many experts like uh, Kawamata, uh, Kolashakurov, and finally uh, ended by Mori. So this is a very uh, s smart theory. So the, uh, I don't want to explain too much on MMP, but this is uh, the first step towards the classification of uh, Algebraic threefolds. So here, uh, what I mean by a threefold, it's uh, always uh, projective uh, threefolds. Uh, usually, it can have uh, some mild singularities, uh, which appear in uh, MMP. So we can begin with a smooth, smooth model, and then uh, uh, MMP said says that there exists a minimal model. Uh, so, so beginning with start, uh, starting with uh, a given threefold, you can finally find a minimal model. <coughs> So here uh, we should admit that in, in, in dimension at least three there are uh, some uh, different different uh, phenomena. For example, if we consider a surface, then we say that uh, a surface S is uh, relative minimal. Uh, uh, if and only if uh, there there are no minus one curves. Oh yes. Okay. So this is a uh, the theorem of Castelnuovo, an Italian group. Um, so in in high dimension, <coughs> this is a uh, slightly different. So uh, we mean uh, a, a relative minimal model, usually in two sense. So either in the first case, if the Kodaira dimension is minus infinity, here I should say uh, quite probably I will begin with uh, a smooth project threefold. So the Kodaira dimension is uh, well defined. So uh, when this is a negative Kodaira dimension, then the minimal model usually means a Mori fiber space. Okay, so either it's a funnel or uh, either it's Q funnel or has a vibration with a, a f with a fiber uh, Q funnel. So otherwise, uh, it always means that uh, the uh, uh, so if the Kodaira dimension of V is non-negative, then we will get a minimal model with uh, such property, say a canonical divisor Kx is neph, 
And uh, of course, x is usually q factorial and terminal singularities. So in short, we will say this is uh, QFT threefold. Okay. So I yeah. So so my my work is uh, 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 after this theory. So what we are we we have been doing are some more explicit classification of the birational structure of such kind of such kind of relative minimal threefolds. Okay. So uh, so yeah. So so. If we begin with a minimal model, so uh, there are uh, um, the classical problem is, uh, is 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 this. So if we uh, take any positive integer and uh, take any integer, then uh, we can consider the linear system, say M K X. Okay, here. Uh, Kx is a is a canonical divisor of the minimum model. Okay, so uh, so this is usually a Q divisor, but it's a way divisor. So it's uh, uniquely determined by the locus on the smooth smooth on the smooth locus of uh, of x. Say we have uh, x naught, which is composed of all smooth points on X. So this is a Sarisk open subset of X. So here, uh, this, this, this so here there is a natural uh, divider. Yeah. So uh, our canonical shift. So we have uh, this omega X not three. Here everything is on dimension three. So this is a invertible shift on X not, and then. If I denote by i this inclusion, inclusion, then uh, we get uh, a canonical shift omega x simply by the zero extension, say i lower star omega x not three. So this is a um, this is a reflexive shift on x. X. So uh, naturally, according to the one-to-one uh, -one correspondence of uh, of Hudson, so this is uh, equal to the reflection for O X and K X. Here, K X is a way divider. We call this uh, a canonical divider. So um, of course, because uh, this is K F T, so there exists some number so that R K X is Cartier. So this is a Q Cartier uh, divider. So uh, in both cases for any given integer either this is a, uh, so there exists yeah sometime yeah mostly uh, for many many integer this is a non empty yeah either in the first case we can take M to be Negative integer, and then this linear system tends, yeah, yeah it's not uh, not empty. Uh, in the non-negative case, so when m is large enough, so this is also non-empty. So uh, you will get a ra rational map phi m. So this is uh, from x in, into some projective space. So, uh, so this, uh, so this map, we usually call uh, the M canonical map. Or plurial canonical map. And the classical. Uh, Story of uh, birational geometry is uh, yeah, people have to be have have been have been studying the property uh, behavior of this map, yeah. So uh, the natural question is, 
For example, uh, yeah. For example, if uh, uh, for example, if uh, the, some yeah some some questions. For for example, uh, if the Kodaira dimension is negative. Uh, say, yeah, sorry, let me focus on a very special case. For example, if uh, x is q final, so, so wing uh, is phi m birational. Yeah, uh, here. Uh, m is negative integer. So by definition, when m is large enough, this is always rational. But uh, so my question is: so can you find some practical integer which is of course negative? Yeah. The second question, for example, uh, if uh, Kodaira dimension is non negative. So the problem is when is phi m uh, an Itaka vibration? <coughs> For, uh, yeah, some, some here, m is. Positive. Okay. So, for example, another very very special case for if if the uh, if x is q calabial. and uh, uh, d is any uh, way divisor. On X. So uh, when is uh, phi m d rational? So all of these are very natural and the fundamental questions. <coughs> so of course they are um, related to the explicit classification of. Uh, <coughs> Of varieties of three faults. So today I I want to yeah uh, to to uh, explain uh, some very elementary uh, calculation on the singularities and uh, and then uh, but, uh, you uh, uh, as as an application we uh, show how to uh, how to solve these kind of problems. Okay, so here uh, Itaga vibration means uh, yeah when m is large enough. This is uh, uh, for example when x is of general type. So this means uh, phi m should be birational. When m is uh, when when this x is not uh, yeah not general type. That means uh, uh, phi m should be some stable uh, stable. Property has some stable property. <coughs> okay, so this is a of course standard standard notion. Okay, so uh, in the first lecture, I <coughs> okay the first lecture I I want to uh, introduce the <coughs> some uh, some combinatorical aspect of uh, singularities so so first of all let me recall uh, the Riemann rock formula of my street so um, so as, 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 as you see that uh, the the key p the, the key point To solve this kind of problem is to calculate uh, 
calculate the PM. So this is a birational invariant, PM or P minus N. So PM is H naught of X M K X. Okay. So in the final case, this means this is X minus N K X. Here, M and N are positive integer. So suppose you can uh, have a very effective way to calculate PM, so that the PM is uh, not very small, very at least two, or then it's uh, possible to study to detect the geometry of X. So uh, the problem is becomes to uh, calculate this, but this is uh, related to uh, Riemann rock. For example, if you are you know very well. Uh, the geometry of algebraic surfaces. Then uh, you see a Riemann rock on surface very is very, yeah, a simple form, and it's uh, not hard to calculate. Uh, how about on three faults? So, yeah, so three faults we we have to uh, treat the singularity, but this kind of singularity is still is still not uh, very complicated uh, compared to. High, higher dimensions, because in dimension three, what we care about is uh, the terminal singularity. So terminal singularity is isolated. So uh, more or less, yeah, you can do can do something. So uh, so uh, so here I have a smooth. So this is a smooth model, uh, and then I finally get a minimal model. So this is a QFT. So how about other yeah other varieties between V and X? So so let me denote Z. Let Z be any projective three form uh, here are with Q F T Q factorial terminal, but it's not necessarily minimal. Okay? Three four. So then because it has a terminal singularity, then uh, read read says yeah, his result says that uh, there exists a basket. There is a collection of singularities, uh, say a uh, basket, basket of uh, terminal orbifolds, or terminal uh, quotient singularity, terminal quotient singularity. So nowadays we call this orbifold. Okay? So say B Z. So this is a determined by the given variety Z. So this is a of this this form uh, one over R I and one minus one B I. Okay, so here I is uh, from one to to s. This number is determined by z. <coughs> okay, and what about the bi and ri? So uh, ri is a positive, but uh, a bi is positive number. This is smaller than half of ri, and on the other hand. Uh, B i is co prime to uh, R i. Okay. So this is a uh, so this is only uh, some collection of it could be the same. Yeah. Could the, when i is uh, uh, with different i, the singularity can be the same. So what, what what is this uh, this singularity? So this is a symbol for. This is a 
Yeah, this is only a notation for this quotient singularity. What kind of, say, if we consider a complex threefold, so this is a, a quotient of C3 by a group action. So this uh, group action is a, a cyclic group generated by uh, epsilon. So what is epsilon? Epsilon is a, a primitive root R's root of one. Okay, so uh, epsilon is primitive. Okay, and uh, how is uh, the group action? So the element epsilon acts on this uh, C three, say x y z. This is by definition. This is uh, epsilon x epsilon minus one y and epsilon so this is r i sorry so epsilon b i z okay so uh, uh, this is a typical terminal quotient singularity but and your best case are only now quotient singularity right? no uh, with uh, terminal singularity but the, this mm. notation, one of Ri, one, this uh, this is, is only quotient. Right? Yeah, this is a, this is a quotient similarity. But, there, but are other uh, types. there are, of course, there are other types. But uh, we don't care about this. This, uh, this uh, is a collection, some collection of, uh, yeah, this kind of, this kind of uh, singularities. But uh, this doesn't mean that all these singularities should occur on this on Z. Okay, this is a uh, only determined by the some kind of invariance of z. Yes, but the, what I'm saying yeah. is the, yeah. this is a quotient singularity. Yes. There are other types, is uh, something like... Uh, uh, hyper, hyper, yeah, hyper, hyper quotient. quotient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. CDV point. Uh, now, uh, yeah, theoretically, I don't care what kind of singularity mm -hmm. on, happens on z. But there exists some basket here, such that, I didn't say, yeah, such that uh, for any, yeah, M. Okay, for any M, uh, we have chi Z, M, K, Z. So equals to uh, 1 over tau m 1 can z well and minus 2m chi on z and plus some correction term in terms of terms of m yeah so what is uh, lm so M is the sum, so it should uh, take the sum over I. And uh, uh, for each singularity, uh, we should take 1, uh, minus 1. Okay, so roughly saying that uh, uh, there exists s s certain collection of singularities, but uh, this this kind of singularity need not uh, really happen on Z. Okay, so this collection is uh, the the rule of this collection is to calculate the, the following terms for any positive integer we can calculate this using this basket. So this is a, this looks like some artificial or virtual. It's not really uh, the singularity on the eight. Okay? <coughs> uh, let's see. But now you assumed uh, some cases. No, so this is a, no, no, I don't, I don't care whether this is a, whether this is a minimal or not. 
yeah this is a yeah we have we have this uh, formula but uh, yeah and here as i said z need not be minimal okay but uh, that's only for this uh, calculation okay here it could be where's sorry uh, sorry sorry this is uh, three sorry yeah all right yeah, uh, bar is, uh, means uh, uh, residue, okay? So, so it means uh, uh, smallest residue. Module, modular Ri, okay? So this is smallest positive, a non-negative residue, of course, it's between zero and uh, Ri minus one. Do you use the all of the similarity of terminal coin similarity for this coin, this formula? Mm -hmm. Do you have terminal coin similarity on that chart? And then? Yeah, this, uh, this, uh, this sum runs through from i to, from i, uh, from 1 to s z, so it runs over this basket. And this is uh, all terminal coin similarity on s chart. No? No. Usually you yeah all all this this singularity here need not be really <coughs> singularity on Z. So this is a this is virtual, yeah. It's a theoretical existence. Yes. Okay? So basically mm. all singularity in yeah. Z affect yeah. the Lima lock, right? All singularities on Z? Z. Yes. Of the course. Yeah. yeah. This yes. <clears throat> okay. So this uh, this Riemann rock is effective for R three faults. Or QFT three points. So, uh, so the applications is so so what, when we are interested in on some three faults, we are always on minimal models. Or otherwise, this or this term doesn't make any sense because that's uh, not uh, yeah <coughs> doesn't make uh, any sense if this is not minimal. Okay. So there are two yeah at least two extreme cases. So one is uh, if uh, Z is uh, funnel, yeah. So so if if Z is Q funnel, okay. So in this time, uh, minus K Z. So this is important. Yeah. So this is important number. So this is uh, anti volume. So this is uh, important. Okay. And then uh, in this case, so how about the uh, left uh, left side? So the left side you can use yeah by the duality. Okay, so you know that uh, uh, chi. So that means the H not duality and vanishing. Okay, you have this, so chi z minus m k z. <coughs> okay, so here this, this formula only works for m is positive. But here, uh, so this is uh, p minus m of z. So of course, this is a, because it's a q funnel, so k z is a, it's, it's, it's ample, so that means so this is, this is a, of course this is a chi with a high co-dimension, uh, so higher higher uh, cohomology group or or vanishes. Okay, so this is a chi z minus m k z. Okay, so and then uh, by the cell duality, so this is. Uh, minus chi 
by duality. So this is z m plus 1 kz. OK? And then the right hand side, this is computable with what? By using, using this, using this formula. OK? So after we uh, calculate this, so we see that this is exactly the, yeah, so this is exactly the following form. So this is uh, uh, 1 over 12 m m plus 1, 2m plus 1, OK? So minus kz cubed plus, and uh, uh, note that for q final, chi oz is 1, OK? So this is 1. So, uh, so this will yeah, get uh, this is 2n plus 2m plus 1 and minus L m minus m plus 1. Okay? So here m l m m plus 1 is can be calculated here. The, so the, the existence of this basket is uh, due to read this formula. So so we <coughs> so we can calculate this. Okay? So here you see that this will be if we if x if z is uh, uh, non gorenz time, then uh, this term is positive. So minus this should uh, yeah if it's not non trivial, but uh, here this is uh, yeah po positive Russian number. Yeah, so you need to yeah calculate this in order to claim that uh, when p minus m is, is is 2 or something. So, uh, so so far we know that this is uh, computable. So we, we have some effective way to calculate this. Okay? So for example, uh, so this tells us many things using this, uh, yeah. So this can be, yeah, can be very small. Can be small, as small as 1 over 330. So this is a, it could be very small, okay. So, but on the other hand, we can control the singularity. So, uh, so this is a uh, one special case. So another case. So if uh, Z is uh, is a minimal of general type, say uh, Z equals to X. Which is minimal uh, of general type. Okay, so in this case, uh, minimal type, uh, minimal and general type. This means uh, k x is an f and a big. And uh, so, uh, so this. Uh, so this number is uh, a positive Russian number, and which is uh, uh, this is uh, this is exactly the volume of x. So this is a bi-Russian invariant. So in this case, we know that uh, the left-hand side is uh, yeah. So this is uh, exactly uh, due to the vanishing. So you know that p m of x for any m. Yeah, larger than equal to one. So uh, due to the vanishing, so this is a uh, uh, chi x m k x. So it can be calculated using this. Okay, can be calculated. So uh, so we we look at yeah we look at this formula. So here, uh, this is a positive Russian number, but you have, uh, yeah, deduce some some integer. So here, for yeah, this can be either negative or positive. Okay, 
So this is a term due to the singularity. So therefore, uh, yeah, in order to calculate this, you have to yeah to see when this is very small. Can you control? Can you yeah estimate this so that this can diminish something yeah, from here because this is a negative. This could be negative term, but it's integer. So here is a uh, positive rational positive rational number. So this is a positive rational number. So you want to find to estimate to see that uh, when uh, yeah. When m is uh, yeah, how large is m? So that uh, this uh, left hand side, the right, the totally, this is uh, at least one or two. So this is a, a key point. So today I want to uh, explain the the, the yeah, my journal work with uh, Rong Kai Chen. So this is uh, uh, mainly to deal with uh, this uh, this basket. Okay. This is basket. Hey, one thing is that uh, when x is of, of general type, so the the paper of Fletcher says that this uh, uh, the basket is uniquely determined by by the Bayesian class. So so in this case, uh, the uh, the basket of singularity is unique. Okay. So it's uh, yeah in 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 Q final case I I I don't think so yeah so um, so or in other case I don't believe that uh, this is uh, yeah I I I'm not sure yeah whether I only know that when X is of general type so this uh, the basket on the minimal model is uh, the Bayesian invariant okay so um, yeah. So let me, yeah. So as as we have seen that, so the key point is, uh, yeah, you want to do some calculation. Okay. So in order to do this, we, yeah, I explain my method, uh, yeah, step by step. So it's, uh, so the first part is uh, very, yeah, combinatorial calculation, but it's elementary. It's elementary, but the the, some calculation is uh, uh, is not so uh, so obvious, okay. So uh, from now on, I work on the combinatorics of the basket. So uh, this theory um, <coughs> works for any QFT three fold. <coughs> So we don't. Uh, so at first we don't necessarily don't have to yeah to assume that this is minimal. <coughs> but uh, in in the application we yeah we always apply to minimal models. Okay. So uh, yeah. So so from now on, let me fix my notation. So yeah. So, uh, so this is uh, quite formal, and uh, at first we don't uh, need need any geometric, uh, yeah, background. But the next lecture I will, yeah, relate this to geometric aspect. Okay. So from now on, I always formally uh, 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 study a formal basket. So this is simply some notation. So assume that this is a this is a collection of uh, singularity. Yeah. So, so I, sorry, I, I, I will always write for simple. Yeah. So B R. So this means this singularity throughout my lectures to uh, to simplify my notation. So. B R. So here B is a collection of B I R I. So I equals to S. Okay. Uh, actually, we don't we don't need. Yeah. Only we only need that uh, B I is positive. 
smaller than ri over 2, we, we don't care whether bi and ri are co-prime. For example, if we say uh, 2, 4, that means uh, 2 times 1, 2. OK? So, <coughs> so, the, so sometime we can also denote the basket by, uh, say, uh, nj. So nj is a weight, some, some positive number, times bj rj and j equals to, to t. Okay, so this is a collection. The basket is not a set, of course. So in in this inside this uh, this collection, uh, some uh, two elements can be the same. So in this case, we write sometime we denote this. For example, yeah, b is two times one two, uh, one three. Uh, Five. So this is a basket. So in this basket, there are four singularities. So two, one, two, one, one, three, one, two, five. Okay. <coughs> okay. So uh, so so w I will define uh, several uh, several invariants. Okay. So the first. Uh, Invariance of B. So uh, the first is uh, sigma B. So by definition, this is a sigma B I S, and sigma prime of B is defined to be. So this is only definition. Okay. So B I square over R I. Okay. So this is a rational number. This is an integer. Uh, this is a positive integer. Yeah. The secondly, for any n, for any positive integer n, and uh, for any i, so we will define this delta of n, b i r i, to be. So simply, to, this is, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, 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 n b i bar uh, r i minus n b i bar to r i minus n b i. Okay, r i. So this is only a number, right? But uh, you will see, this is a non-negative integer. Okay, so this is only arithmetical yeah, expression. Yeah. <coughs> or in other way, we can define this. <coughs> so. So how can we uh, can how we see this is a this is an integer. So it's like uh, yeah, we can see in this way. So for example, if we yeah given n and given this, so there is uh, a unique integer, say um, okay. Uh, so in order to, to to define this data, okay. So um, we know that there exists a unique data. So that uh, a infants a of uh, data of a. So this is uh, b i r i. Okay. 
So what is a delta? Actually, delta can be the write down of uh, n p i over r i. Round down of this. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So then, uh, delta n of p i r i. Yeah. So this is uh, simply the following. So uh, yeah. So this is a uh, delta p i n minus square two r i. Yes. So you see, this is an integer. Okay. Yeah, this is an integer. Yeah, so it's easy to check this. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, what is delta n of the basket B? So simply we sum up R this okay. So in fact, we have defined uh, several uh, several invariants of this B. And then we, yeah, we, we should uh, study the property of uh, of this. Uh, the point is, um, yeah, we. <coughs> so this is a, yeah, one, two, and and then we, yeah, we, we uh, define the set. Uh, the set S. So let me write here. So always the set S is the set of RZ basket. The B is a basket of obifors terminal obifors. Okay, so then we define we define a partial ordering on the set S. Okay, so this is a definition. Okay, so uh, so we define uh, so so assume. We have a basket B, so this is uh, B1 R1, B2 R2, B3 R3, and finally BS RS. So this is a basket. We set the basket B prime to be. Uh, so the so we <coughs> get b1 plus b2 r1 plus r2 and uh, from the third it, we keep r3 and uh, okay we we see that a b and b prime are both baskets but they have some relation so this kind of relation is uh, so we packed we packed the first two singularity into uh, the new singularity. So we say uh, B is is preceding of B prime. So this is a so this is a, yeah so this is a well defined partial ordering. On the set S. Okay, so I just want to give some yeah, very concrete example to help you to understand this partial ordering. For example, yeah, if uh, we have B, it's uh, one, two, 
1314 okay so if uh, we have uh, b prime so it's uh, 2514 then we see that the first b can be packed into b prime okay so but uh, it can be also uh, equal sometime for example if uh, we say b is one two one two okay if we packed then it's uh, trivial yeah so b prime we see that uh, this is uh, yeah still yeah some some basket but it's uh, similar to yeah this in this time it's uh, the basket are sim uh, they are equal okay so we don't exclude this so anyway so we have a uh, partial ordering then we yeah this this partial ordering is uh, has very good property yeah which is which is compatible with uh, our invariance okay so this is an important property so so the, in this lecture ev yeah everything is uh, is uh, combinatorical it's theoretical but the next lecture yeah we will see that this is uh, this has strong geometric meaning okay so now uh, I yeah, I will not uh, prove any property here because this is published in, in our papers you see and uh, you see this is uh, very elementary it's uh, yeah it's checked <coughs> okay so uh, yeah here uh, I want I want another you know, very special and very important yeah, partial ordering. Uh, so this partial ordering is called uh, packing. Yeah, uh, we call this is 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 called packing. Uh, okay. And uh, what is a prime packing? You know, so a prime packing. So this is a this is an important notion. So prime packing means. In the definition, we should have uh, uh, b1 r2 minus b2 r1 equals to 1. Yeah. Okay, so this is uh, a definition. So when we say this is a prime packing, we will yeah, write sometimes this is prime packing, but uh, we omit this. So this is prime packing. So th this means, for example, here one, two, and one, three. This is a prime making, a prime, prime packing because uh, uh, so one. This is three minus two, is one. So this is prime packing. Okay. Sometimes you have uh, non non prime, but we don't. Yeah, actually, it it can be defined, but uh, all, everything happened in our argument are the yeah, most important thing are the prime packing so so we want to uh, use this partial ordering to re, uh, re to recognize any basket uh, yeah the code of the prime packing if you one three one two uh one two one three yeah, into in, into two five uh, this is doesn't doesn't uh, yeah it, this doesn't uh, <coughs> doesn't matter so <coughs> Yeah, there exists. Yeah, I, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we don't care this. Uh, so which one is uh, proceeding? No, no. So, so thi this this doesn't. <coughs> this is only a collection. So without uh, yeah order. Okay. So uh, so uh, I will write down several. Yeah, interesting, interesting property of uh, this partial ordering and uh, invariance. For example, lemma lemma one. So uh, I assume b is packed into b prime, 
and then yeah so the, all these are very simple uh, for r n larger than or equal to 2 so we know that uh, delta n of b okay uh, with equality so So when this this equality holds, so if and only if um, uh, if and only if uh, there exists some integer delta. Such that uh, b1 over r1, b2 over r2. This is uh, in this interval. Uh, okay. So this is uh, equality happens. Uh, on the other hand, we know that sigma b is equal to sigma b prime. And sigma prime b is sigma prime b prime plus uh, r1 b2 minus r2 b1 square r1 r2 r1 plus r2. So of course this is a okay. So this is a very simple property. So it's uh, easy to to check. So with uh, equality holds. So so for the third item, so equality holds if and only if uh, b one r two equals to b two r two. Okay. So uh, this is the first uh, first property. So this is a more or less uh, elementary So the second property is um, we consider very very, very special a uh, very simple case. For example, if we yeah b is is b1 r1 b2 r2 and this is uh, packed into B two B prime. So so other singularities doesn't uh, affect uh, invariance. So for simplicity, let me just consider B is uh, this, and B prime is the packing. So this is B one, B two, R one, R two. So if this is a prime packing. So if is a prime packing, so then what uh, what happened? Is it? Of course, this means that b one r two yeah minus b two r one equals to one, uh, and then yeah we have this relation delta r one r two. So take n to be r one plus n two. And then b1, b2, so that is b prime. Yeah. Okay, that is b prime. So this is exactly delta r1, r2, b minus 1. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, so far I only uh, def uh, yeah, defined something on theoretically on the formal basket, and uh, so the next uh, topic is uh, I want to I want to uh, recognize the any ba given basket with uh, kind of with so-called canonical sequence. 
the canonical sequence is, uh, is uh, the statement is like that. So given a basket, we can see that this is, uh, yeah, by definition, this is uh, equivalent to some level n basket, say b n, and then we can find that there is a canonical sequence. And finally, we get we get uh, yeah this sequence. And uh, the first uh, this sequence is called initial initial basket. So any basket B has uh, such a canonical sequence, and each. The, each uh, each each basket in this canonical sequence can can be recognized uniquely, and with uh, calculation, to one step uh, one by one, and finally we can have a canonical canonical sequence. So uh, so the beginning of the next lecture, I uh, let let me <coughs> start with uh, explain the definition of this uh, canonical sequence, and then uh, put geometry together. And we see that uh, this uh, uh, this uh, sequence has a very important pro role in uh, understanding uh, the plural genus. Okay, thank you. <coughs>